I want to know how a poet thinks um, the objects of fiction exist. Are they abstract? Are they entities that subsist in a mind only when they are in a mind? Um, these are puzzles for philosophers, and I'm curious how um, how um, poets think of these things. So, uh, any any um, any um, representative idea will do. Mm. I'm thinking abstract or entities that exist in the mind when they're in the mind. That's the thing is like, you may be think that maybe most of the poems that I write are based on things that are too real. Because even for me, the history that's not here, no, that it really happened. So I'm trying to find something that straddles, you know, that, that abstract. Maybe, no, mm -mm. okay. Maybe I'll read Give Me a God. Maybe I'll read Give Me a God. I'm, and I'm going to explain why. Um, Robert Lowell. Robert Lowell had this poem, Will Not Come Back. Robert Lowell was from like the 50s. It, and he, American, and I think he was one of them that started before, oh, I love Anne Sexton, by the way, <laughs> that whole idea of, um, um, trying to remember what you call it, confession, confession, the confession poet, right? So Robert Lowell was credited with being one of the earlier, confession poets so he has this poem I think it's geared it was towards his ex-wife I don't know how many ex-wives I can't remember but this it was like you know you won't find anybody who loves me like you as you know in terms of that sort of unreal and abstract and and the thing that's real but not real so I had a poem in response to his poem will not come back and this basically was from um, the Wayne Brown workshop, because he 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 had this Robert Lowell poem. He loves Robert Lowell and Ted Hughes. So we would have arguments. The women in the class would have arguments with him about Ted Hughes. <laughs> you know Sylvia Plath and all of that. So Safi and I love Plath. So um so give me a god. So this is kind of like the whole abstract part of it then. And um so I have a quote from Robert Lowell's "Will Not Come Back" at the beginning. So this is from the first book, the Festival of Wild Orchids. You know how it looks already. So the quote is, but silent, absorbed, and on his knees, as men adore God on the altar, as I love you, don't blind yourself. You'll not be loved like that. So this is me answering him. So that's kind of, I don't know him. So maybe that's the whole abstract part, but I'm talking about love or something, the love that I see in his poem. And I've not met him, right? So I could be wrong. So this is my response. You say none will ever love me like this, the way you do, silent, absorbed on your knee. I say, I've had enough glibness to fill all the kitchen counter romance novels. I don't need someone on his knees sounding his brazen love to me. It's trite and glows like Tinseltown. It's just an overload. Give me a God like the sea or gloomy clouds to love, the folding, unfolding mountains, to search, to comprehend, to serenade, to sow golden marigolds on, and a spring to dip my careless feet. Oh, give me the woods to run to, away from all this clanging of men's mortal love. 